G'day guys. Welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm going to do a bloom, but I'm going to do some copper paste as well as some white paste and see what happens. I'm also going to use this little, it's some um, bits sort of sun stained now, it was clear. It's just a little silicone flower thingy that I'm going to use because I'm going with copper. Initially I was going to put the stones in and I thought, nah, done that. <laughs> Let's try something different. Let's just make sure it's in the middle. Mm, it's about six. Whoops, or eight. I guess it depends on where you measure from, doesn't it? I'll go from these little points here. All right, six, 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 six. <laughs> Roughly, whatever looks in the middle, okay? <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to leave that in there. Um, and I'm going to, because I want copper, let's see how this works. This is just my copper pen. Oh, it doesn't seem to be working all that well, I must say. Give it a couple of little pushes, I think. Get some colour coming down. It seems a bit watery. There we go, see if that's any better. Haven't really used it for a while. It's probably old. Okay, let's give that a quick little brush. So when I do demold this flower tomorrow, I'll have to take this little silicon inlay out and it'll leave a little a little crevice, a little a little dent, which is fine. You can fill it up later on if you want to, but that's that's it. All right. Um, I've got my timer set. I need to be um, pouring my resin out in one and a half minutes. Decanting! That's the word, decanting. Okay, now let's let that sit for a minute. I'm going to put um, 20 grams in each of these little cups. I'm just going to do it off camera here. I only need 20 grams, so I'm going to go 20 grams of the white went a bit over doesn't matter and 20 grams of the copper I just thought I'd start the video a little bit earlier because I was doing that extra little little piece there all right so that's that and that um, what else do I need I think that's it so with the white I'm using the just resin white pigment paste don't use a powder Use a paste. Now that's probably way too much. You, you just want it kind of like skim milk. You want to be able to see through your stick, see through the white resin onto your stick. <laughs> you want to be able to see your stick, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm you know what I'm saying. You're catching with them throwing you, aren't you? Okay, so that's that one. Um, I'll leave that there just in case I need some more. This had gone hard. I had to set it in some boiling water this morning, but it comes back. There we go. There's my four minutes up. Um, and now I want... Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want another seven minutes to pouring. Now, I'm not sure, because this is not very heavy. Like it's not as heavy as the white. I'm just going to wipe the bottom of the stick and see how that goes because this is a little bit, a bit of an experiment. I have used these metallic pastes before when I was doing my peacock range oh, like a year ago. Do you remember me doing the peacock ones? I had purple, silver and blue in these pastes. I haven't used the copper I don't think so we'll try that. Okay, those are that. That's the colours. Now I need to decant because my 10 minutes is up. And here we go. This is my poinsettia tray mould, my small poinsettia. I have small, medium, and large in this range. This is my small one. I didn't want to do something too big just in case it didn't work. 
and I didn't want to waste too much resin. It is the Promarine tabletop that I'm using today. It's a thick resin. I do need to go back to my Platinum Art Coat, which is a similar consistency. It's nice and thick, so I will be going back to that one. I just had to use this up because it's going yellow. <laughs> you know how part of it goes yellow? So, yeah, I thought I'd better use it up before I waste the whole thing. Now, there's a few little bubbly boos in here. I'm just loosening them with a toothpick so they can come to the surface. I like to sit just on the edge of that little silicon inlay. So, just get in there and grab those out if you can. Okay. Um, what have I got? Four. I'll put this here. Coming up to five minutes. All right, now I need to just check my white again. And the only way you can check it really is because you can't see because there's white on the stick. So just get that white paste off and then have a look at your white. Yep, that looks good. I can still see some streaks of the white though, so I need to stir it a little bit more. I'm not piping today out of a bag. I'm just going to wing it. I'm going to wing it, you guys. I'm just going to pour th from the cup. That's what I'm doing, pouring from the cup. Let's see how that goes, eh? I can see a bubble. Make sure you've got no bubbles in your mould. there. Come out. Didn't want to come out. Okay, um, so that's my white. That's my copper. I've got my stick to pull through. I'm going to basically, I'm just going to do rings in the white and rings in the copper. And then pull the stick through. I'm standing here. I'm ready. I don't know why I'm ready. <laughs> why am I ready? I'm never ready. I'm always running late at this stage. Oh, look, I've still got three minutes to go. I'll come back to you in three minutes, okay? <laughs> Righto. My seven minutes is up. And where am I going to start? I can feel my little resin cups are nice and warm. They're not hot. They're just warm. So, oh gosh, hope I can do this with, move everything out of the way. <laughs> hope I can do this. I'm just going to basically swirl from what's coming out of the cup. Okay, here we go. Doesn't matter if I put any on there because I'm going to be peeling it off anyway. I think, I don't know. I was so confused about which way to do it. Like, I was trying to go, okay, do I go face down? Do I go face up? I, oh, gosh. I'm just going to go from here. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. It's a bit easier for with a piping bag. Oh, well, you know, maybe not, because with a piping bag, you've got to keep squeezing. You don't have to with this. Put a little bit more in this one. There's a bit of a gap there. Now let me think about this. Do I cover that? Because when I peel, when I turn it over and I peel it out, the copper's going to be. I don't think it'll matter if I have any colour on here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. I guess. All right. Now with the copper. Mm -hmm. See, if I put too much copper in, it's going to sink. So, I'm just hoping that I haven't put too much in. And I'm not being really specific as to it going between the white lines. I'm just getting it in there. <laughs> 
And I missed a little bit here. Okay. All right. Doesn't matter about any squiggles that you have. It does not matter at all. Okay. Um, now, let's give it a torch. Probably shouldn't have touched the corner there. I prefer not to touch the mould because the, the silicone grabs it and then um, you might not make the shape that you want. But I don't think it's going to matter. All right, here we go. The fun bit, the fun bit. <sighs> I wonder if I've covered that up. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I can't get it around my head as to what's going to happen when I unmold that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, so I'm going to go out towards these points, like so, because they're pointy. That's my only reason. <laughs> they're pointy, and I'm doing points. I'm not touching the bottom of the mold, I'm just scraping through the, the surface. Okay, now that's it. Um, I kind of wanted to do a few more things, so I think I'll go, if I go up, okay, I'm going to go up here as well. I'm going to go up into the centre of each of these as well, because it looks pretty cool. Like so, and then I'm going to come back, like so, in the middle of each of those. <laughs> Am I doing it right? I don't know. I just thought, that looks pretty. Let's do that. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that was hard. All right, now I'm going to give this a little swirl of bits, a little bit of a swirl, because it's because I don't know what's going to go on in there. All right, we'll just do that. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I crack myself up sometimes. I have no idea what I'm doing half the time. <laughs> uh, I pretend I know what I'm doing, but I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let me get my gloves off. Ah. Okay, and the other one. All right, give my hands a quick spray of alcohol. Now, make sure that you're not spraying alcohol anywhere near this bloom, otherwise it's gonna make a dot on it. And then you'll see a big hole, so just be careful. Okay, that'll do. All right. Oh gosh, no. Clean my hands again. All right, let's get you down. Now, it may look good from this side, which it is at the moment, but until I unmold tomorrow, I'm not going to know, like, if the copper has sunk, if it's just floating on top. It's, it'll be an experiment because it, I wiped the bottom of the stick and I left what was on the top of the stick. So if we don't get much droppage and it's just all white on the other side, then I know that I won't like wipe the stick at all. So we'll just, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. It's so shimmery though. Look at it. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Even if the other side doesn't work, we can use this side because it's so pretty. Wow. All right. I'm going to have to be patient now and wait till tomorrow to unmold. So wish me luck and I will see you tomorrow. All right. It's ready. It's the next day. Uh, probably still a little bit bendy. Yes, it is. But. I'm not waiting till this afternoon. I'm just not. I'm too impatient. All right. 
Oh, gosh. Let's have a look. Now, you've got to remember, I can't feel it. <laughs> I can't feel that little silicone disc. What if it's trapped in there? <laughs> what if it's trapped inside? Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's put the paper over. We'll put the black paper over. I may have to go digging for the little disc. It might have a little bit of resin over it. I don't know. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, it is. It has. Oh, it has. No, oh, no, it's only a tiny bit. Okay, now let's have a look. Let's let's have a look at this. Um, got a little bit of droppage here. So me thinking that, you know, I was thinking I wasn't using enough of the um, copper paste. But um, I've only got a little bit of droppage. So, I mean, I could probably take a little bit less, but certainly no more. All right, let's see if I can get this. I'm just going to take that away for a sec. All right, let's have a look. Now I can see, I don't know if you can see, can you see? There, see how half is matte and half is shiny in there? Well, it's having trouble focusing. <laughs> there, there you go, you can see. So this bit here is the bit of resin that's gone over, I think. Or is that the, oh, I don't know. I don't know which is which. I don't know which is resin and which is silicone. I think this is the silicone. It's, it's just, I think this is the silicone because it's the matte one. Let's get my nails in there. Ah. Let's put it down for a sec. Uh, what can I use? What can I use? I just need to get that little point up, basically. Probably not the right tool for it, but I don't, I don't have anything else. I've got I've got the end of it up. I'll try toothpick. Toothpick. I just need to just need to get it started. Ah, there we go. Is that it? Hopefully I won't tear it and break it. I've got I've got a little bit of it up. I don't want to break it. Ah. I don't know why it's so difficult to get out. Here it comes. Ah. Like this bit here is not even under the resin. I guess it must be a little bit under the resin, but there it is. <laughs> it's poking through. Oh gosh. All right, and then I can see over here, there's a little bit of resin over the top. I'm gonna put it down. All right, why is this being so difficult to get out? Why, 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 why? Ah. Come on. I don't wanna break it. Maybe because it's old. I've got half out now. All right, I'm just going to struggle with this on my own and I'll come back to you, okay? I finally got it out. I had to use my little blade on the edges there and just like trim away around the, the silicone because half of it had gone, um, well, the resin had gone sort of underneath that silicone little inlay, so I just trimmed it a little bit. So there you go. Um, what do you think? I love that centre. It's it's just a bit nice, isn't it? Just a bit nicer than the regular glitters or something like that or a little swirl. And there's just a little hint of copper there. I love it. Not quite sure about the the copper. I think I think what I did, like and I'll do this differently, you see how in some areas you can see the copper popping up and then in some areas, the other areas, the copper's still kind of behind the white. So maybe next time do a ring of white and put the copper in between that ring of white so that 
but then it might do, do this you see this is where <laughs> these blobby bits that's where the copper doesn't have any white behind it and it's just sort of sunk through so but let's try again we can always try again so maybe I can use less copper paste and put it between the white lines and see how that goes because it was a little bit heavy just without the white does that make sense I'm hoping I'm making sense to everybody but oh, I really like it it's so pretty love this flower in the center <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed this little video we both learned something didn't we it's really pretty I love it yay <laughs> love the shape too oh copper edges copper edges copper edges what do you think should we do a copper edge oh uh, is this the one I used oh gosh now I can't remember I don't think it is you know I think I used my Krylon when I first started doing these, I used Krylon, but then I discovered that the Deco colour was better. I think I used this one for the centre. I think I did. And I shouldn't have. I should have used the, um, the Deco colour because it's always better. I think it's always better anyway. I'm just going to go over that again. And shall we do the edges as well? Now, if you particularly wanted to, you could put a little bit of clear resin in there um, just to cover up that little hole as such. Didn't actually get a lot of that copper coming off now that I look at it. Kind of on the other side. <laughs> I still don't know whether I did it right or wrong or not. Oh gosh, oh, a bit of a pea brain sometimes. All right, so that's that. Um, now let's have a look and see what it looks like. I'm gonna put it down here though. Let's have a look and see what it looks like with the copper edge, shall we? I've got my little bit of dotting paper or dabbing paper. All right, let's see how we go. I'm just gonna go sort of half on and half off the actual piece of resin edge so if I can get the edge of that sort of halfway in the little nib there let's see how that goes this is where I need my turntable <laughs> and I could just spin it like so all right so what are we thinking do we like this little copper edge it's going to take your time because you need to get that little nib to go push the nib down, <laughs> it wants to slide off and then try and keep it on the edge so that the edge of the resin piece is in the middle of the nib. And see how that goes. And if you get it in the right spot, it should usually stay there. There we go. Get the hang of it by the time I'm finished. <laughs> You know, try not to touch the wet bits on the other side. It's up to you how thick or thin you want to do this line. I particularly don't like it very thick. I look, I think it looks more elegant if it's just a really thin little line. But it's up to you, obviously, how thick or thin you want to do it. It's your piece. You do it however you want to do it. And of course, you don't even have to put the the copper around. And then, if you really wanted to have a lot of copper, you could do the actual sides as well as just the the tip. I'm just doing the tip for now, just to see what it looks like. But you could, if you wanted to, do the whole side, like in here. I'm nearly done. Look at that. Yay, I'm done. All right. Love it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Let me know what you think of it. With that gold. Ah, gold. That sort of copper on the outside. That was my Deco Color Premium 
that I used. There you go, a little bit of a close up. Actually, I'll bring you down, it's easier than me trying to bring this up. There we go. You can have a little, a little look from down here. You might be able to see more of the shimmer shimmer from down here, I think. If I can focus it. And there's the little copper edge there that you can see. Bring you close in so that you can actually see what it looks like. But you can see how the copper's kind of sitting on top of the gold in most places except for those couple of areas where it's kind of dropped through. But that's the, that's the kind of look, isn't it? Looks like, looks like waves <laughs> and the foam crashing over the top of the waves. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong color. I could try and do that in a, in a blue, couldn't I? All right, better let you go, hey? Thank you so much for being with me here today in the studio. Really appreciate everybody's support. And uh, I will see you again real soon for the next one. And I will do, as I said, and put the metallic between the white and see how that goes and not make it so heavy. We will get this right. We will. All right. Thank you so much again. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now.